Okay then. So on that glorious note, let us start the session. So, why don't we start with Lambert? Last night, you visited five or six construction sites and decided that humans really shouldn't be allowed to be the dominant species on the planet. Not after what they've done. I mean, that, that's, that's part of it, yes. But, yeah. Did, did you not manage to get through an entire night last session, then? Uh, we did. Oh, right. Um, well, we flipped over to the night of the uh, burning and stabbing of people. Yeah, burning and stabbing. Favorite things. So, um... The night after you had most of your humanity blown up, what do you do? Well, I mentioned to you when I couldn't get to last session that talking to the um, Tremere ah. in terms of if there's anything they wanted done, <laughs> given links to them in the past and everything, though they're... Okay, in that case... Oh dear. You can have a uh, conversation oh in the chantry. That looks like this looks like a really great place to be. So, with with a token I can click on. Whose tokens are that? I have no idea. One of them might. I mean, the original I, Elder tokens that, uh, are public. I I enjoy having our old friend currently in front of the desk. <laughs> Oh. Oh, yeah. There's always him. Rest in peace. So, peace or pieces? The um, building seems to be a perception of cultural to uh, make a judgment on the quality of the chantry. Perception shit, cult good. Hmm. Difficulty or...? Uh, difficulty would be six. I'd say you would be tr familiar enough with chantries and with occult stuff in general that... Yeah. Um, this is... You've seen something like this before, but on a smaller scale. You're pretty sure that the walls here can move. The whole building is constructed with magic and clockwork so that the interior of the place can reconfigure on the fly, under the will of its master. The new master, given the current one's a corpse corpse. Yep. Corpse corpse. Corpse corpse. Um, corpse squared. The uh, tools inform you that uh, uh, they've heard that you are in town and there's like a note dropped off that you know this guy might be okay to work with so the temporary regent is willing to give you like half an hour that's i'm very grateful for that i shall make sure to pass on my thanks to whoever dropped the note off hmm. Thank you can regent move over here, because that would be the office that you would be led to. I haven't got a me. I can't find a me. Uh, yes, you would have to grab hold of your name and drag it out. Not a picture, oh, but the name specifically, and you can place yourself office? on the map. Uh, this one. The, uh, the one that isn't in the library. <laughs> or in the uh, restricted section of the library, what would be... One? No, this one. This is the public one. You get to see the books. This one? That's the vault. You're yeah, definitely not perfect. going there. <laughs> this one? No, that's the library. That's where they keep the rituals. Okay, Here. I've got to all three. Top, this? Top. top. No, top right. That was where I was initially. You said no. Where's the top? There's yes. another one way up to the top right. And now you place yourself in the darkness. I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find me any Oh, there's a thing over there I couldn't see that before Should have zoomed out Remember when Jackalord trapped Archie there? That was a fun session 
R.I.P. Archie. R.I.P. Jackalaw. Everybody involved in that hilarious situation is now dead. I know, right? <laughs> well, um, you're Gregory, I believe. I assume that's in character rather than checking which... Yes. Yes, you have me at a your advantage. I, the ghouls mentioned note had been passed from, to you from the Tamir I've helped occasionally back in the old country. Oh, and yes. Actually, uh, yes, yes, we, we do try to pass information between Chandra's, at least as far as the people that are exceptional threats or useful allies are. Uh, I'm Alexander, by the way, and well, I'm very busy these nights because, oh, well, it's public knowledge anyway. Someone torpored a fifth gen emissary from Vienna. Ah. Have you got her back, I assume? Uh, yeah, we got her back. Oh, crap. I can't believe it. Yesterday. Oh. The Lord was um, here also... the whole night. Um, flips through some papers. Uh, right, right. The blood cocktails, right? In terms of my interests, yes. Uh, yes. But... Well, uh, there's good news. One of the few things the previous region did right. There is a. Uh, there are some samples of uh, werewolf blood in the vault at the moment. That that would be most interesting. Of to course, me, this would the... be a matter of trade or payment for services rendered rather than a gift, since it's a rather rare thing given how aggressive the local werewolves can be when you challenge them. It's kind of a true situation, so we can't just go and get more either. Of course, the prince herself said not randomly antagonize werewolves, though not knowing how long that will last as a situation. But given that the you've said the latest nights are fairly busy, is there anything which I could lend a hand to? in making them less busy. He gets a thoughtful look on her face. Ah, uh, I'm thinking. Well. Are you, how well connected are you in the local circles? I've just arrived, but I know a few names, spoken to a few people. Uh, spoken to the clan sister who lives here, who you might know of. Spoken to the <coughs> Vendru. <coughs> what was his name? Mitchell. Mitchell. Yeah, ah, yes. Co yes. Yes, the very clearly Ventru Mitchell. Yes, I'm familiar. Right. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I I don't want to do this job, but if I want to use the resource of this chantry, or rather have first call on them, it kind of comes with the job, and the clan looks like shit right now. If you could think of a way, to normalize relations with the other clans, that might be worth a while or two of werewolf blood to me. I nod, suddenly trying to consider anything, if anybody has uttered even a single positive word about the Tremere the entire time I've been here. I, I don't <laughs> think they have. <laughs> I don't think there's been a single one. This painting, by the way, is William with a cane looking proudly to the horizon. Why would that be an actual thing? There's a cape as well.
Well, it's probably impolite for me to mention that the pic getting rid of the picture might be a good thing, but he's been in charge for one day. Dead. Oh well. It says nobody visits them right, anyway. So yes, I shall be on my lookout for anything which could be beneficially solved by the Chantry in such a way which the other clans would be appreciative. Though, given the amount of situations, the the current new Ele is the new Elysium protected at all? Because the old Elysium seemed to have been on fire slightly. And given uh, how well not... defended this place is, not recently, moving, but, moving walls? Uh, but this place is powered by a wellspring of magic and a strong one at that. Which allows us to enact defenses like that here a lot more course, easily than we would be able to elsewhere. Of course, but some manner of defenses would possibly be appreciated by the Torador, though something to keep their concentration might be very beneficial. I had more than half of them go rather... You know how they get when they see something that they can't just take their eyes off. Uh, I believe they are simply in the habit of using heightened senses in Elysium, and your appearance is rather interesting. Yes, but if there any level of magic to help them not be distracted, if somebody just came into Elysium with a painting or something, if to take advantage of that because in many ways take advantage of the entire clan's meeting area and all of them being focused on something rather than what's going on around them. Oh, I'm sure they I grateful for I that. need to take a yeah, she has no politics. I'm not entirely sure they don't enjoy the process. They might get upset if you interfere. It I mean sorry, Dory. At least their leader, who I'm not quite sure actually is a Torador himself, seemed to be better at resisting the effects. If he had control over it, I'm sure he wouldn't object to being able to snap all of his clanmates out of stupor if they were making well, fools of themselves in front of everyone. Uh, Possibly again. Would be somewhat difficult. We could, of course, enact the usual wards versus various kinds of creatures on the Controlling a uh, clan's individual curse can be difficult, even with the kind of magics we have access to. Snapping them out. Well, if you run into a problem like that, might I suggest a sharp slap across the face? If you can provide a way to automatically slap all Toyodors across the face in their Elysium, I don't think they'd thank you for it, but I think everybody else would be quite amused. Perhaps not. But the wards, at least, they would not have access to... Yes, otherwise, the and would be quite region. good, especially for keeping areas. I don't think they own the entire building. They don't didn't seem to. The previous so region, making sure I don't... believe, was of the opinion that what should not so much be gifted as traded in exchange for favors. As a consequence, you, yeah. people don't really come to us for their business. Well, you did say you wanted to get a more positive light with the other clans of the city, and that is one area which I'm sure they would be very grateful for. Certainly something. Uh, Jackalor, where do you have your Williams inventory? Is it in the dead pile? Where is it? Trash bin? 
or is it under the Chantry stuff? I can't see his inventory now. Um, backstory, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's check. I think it was like two points of werewolf blood that you had. Oh, uh, yeah, because... two points of werewolf blood. It's in Jackalore's inventory in tra trash bin. Yeah, I actually can't uh, even find uh, William anymore. He's dead. I moved him to the traveling folder. He is off to Vienna. They took him out of the city. We have a tra oh, shit. I never noticed a traveling folder. <laughs> yeah, he he served his punishment. He can leave now, as far as I understand your agreement. No, no, that that's fine. I just didn't know there was a traveling folder. <laughs> I was like in trash bin, all kinds of other places. Hmm. Yeah, there are a lot of folders. Alright. Probably shouldn't be looking through them at the moment. <laughs> well, that's... That's certainly a start. Of course, I would expect your help in actually of helping course, course. present this as a middleman, but um, she's actually gonna pull open one of the drawers and here just a faint tinkle of glass. She pulls out like a rack of piles, there's like 20 of them, and uh, she gives you one of them. Consider this a down payment. I, if this works out and you can act as a middleman, I'll give you half of these. Thank you very much, it's very gracious of you. I shall... There is at least one among the Torador who I think there has some amount of repertoire with my ideas, I shall talk to him as soon as I can about it, and I shall look for any other opportunities. Yeah, it, just, it means me to actually get all of the other supers as well, then. Yes. There is actually something else you might want to consider, and this is a lot less restricted thing. She pulls open a second drawer and pulls out three bottles. So these are you know, decent sized bottles, like a little smaller than normal beer bottles. She gives you three of them. Um, feel free to test one yourself and can samples out to like the. This is. This is a way to make drinking blood a bit more interesting. Oh, what's, <laughs> what's it made of? Uh, blood. Well, it's... Uh, I don't know the process in detail myself. These were made by the Primogen. But he tells me that the effects should be similar to a malnarcotic or alcohol. Hmm. Probably subsumed within the bloodstream before taking out or something? Uh, he claims that it's a ritual that allows us to imbibe it since it's brewed from blood. Hmm. Interesting. Well, thank you for your time. I shall try to get on help with helping you in as much as my capacity to can. Thank you for, again, thank you for taking the time out when it is such busy nights. Uh, yes, and I do believe it's about time I got ready to, uh, head to a prior engagement that I have, so I hope to see you again soon. I will bow and leave. Oh, um, gosh. You can add a dot of allies to your sheet tentatively, provided this relationship keeps growing without either side getting upset with the other. It, you, can, Yay. you can make use of this connection in the future. As long as it doesn't fuck up. Though it is ironic, just as Allied appeared, I get an ally. Well done, <laughs> Allied. <laughs> if you go away and come back again, I'll get more power, so just... So fuck off, please. <laughs> uh, am I a chipmunk? No. Yes, apparently. No, you're fine. Well, not to me. You're oh, not a chipmunk. 
Okay, I'm fine. Okay, that's you're welcome. I grant unto you a reward. Uh, allied. The Hello? world seems to be ending. Someone went and was friendly with the Tremere. There's no longer William. This, this is kind of. I thought that was the entire problem with the Tremere. They kind yeah, of they, hate all of them. Was. That it, it, it actually basically was. William was the one that kept being somehow the one everyone went to to contact them and fucking everything up. <laughs> Why do I feel like there's a hate crime involved like in the rest of the sentence about they want to meet the Tremere? Yep. I mean, yeah, like they kind like, of yeah. hate it's William's fault, but the whole clan is the most disliked in the city. It, well, it is definitely so William's that? fault, uh, but <laughs> what about that's kind of how it ended up. They got a bitch in house. William only cared for himself. That seems like a normal regent thing. The sheriff shot uh, their primogen through the wards when William ran off when the sheriff came <laughs> to arrest him. <laughs> that's understandable. I still don't see why they're the most hated, though. It has almost everything to do with all the shit William ended up causing, because oh. their gargoyle appeared to be out of control, managed to torpor another elder. <laughs> that came later. There was a Cold War <laughs> happening before then. How then blamed everything on the Trebeer, and the gang were like, the beacons are lit, Havdan's in danger. <laughs> uh, of course. You have to understand, it was almost all of William's fault. It's just that it ended up bleeding to the rest of the Tremere because he was the one leading them. I will give them a hug. More or less. Uh, Allied, let me explain to you why this could be a thing with Havdan fucking the Tremere so hard. He had four status and three clan status. So when oh. someone fucks over your elder like that, in a way that's, you know, insulting to the whole clan, sometimes the clan uh, rallies and decides that, yeah, no, fuck those guys. Guys, stop. I know I have this status, but don't go to war. We're going to war! He's been brainwashed! Ah, oh, shit. I think but that I actually work, happened yeah. at one point when Havdan yeah. was like, Oh no, I fucked up. Son, you've been Wait, dominated. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was actually a thing. That was the most ingenious plan, and how we blame it. I didn't wasn't going to blame it on Jackal or William, right? So instead... I blamed it on knowing that some Tremere can lower their generation and then try How and... How did you know that? He I has have, a fuck ton of a cult on Havdan, but here's the thing. Then William played along, yes, he must have, and friends his fucking librarian. <laughs> Which is why the Tremere started hating him. <laughs> it was <brave. laughs> They sent a librarian to Vienna so for that? infernalism? <laughs> taking oh. clan books... And fucking this whole situation. So, essentially, well, you can well imagine what happened when in the Vienna they scrubbed his brain and figured out what was really happening. Aww. So, like, what, what the fu- what the fuck? <laughs> Damn it, you just, you just, you just brain scrubbed this person for no fucking reason. Well, yeah, that's why they sent the fifth gen over here. Yes. And now that's, the fifth gen managed to get so is the librarian dead or coming back? Uh, they were, I think they were found innocent because he didn't even take any precautions to, like, mind wipe them or anything. Well, here's the thing, the librarian was deliberately showing William books on infernalism to try and push William over the edge. <laughs> That's hilarious. He was, so I... he was guilty of trying to set up his regent and push him into infernalism, so he's not fucking innocent oh my god and and fucking jackler of all people turned down that chance to become an infernalist man mildly he more of uh got prepped to do it when it's a safer time oh <laughs> he, he has two demonic celestial names memorized he has eidetic memory they're gonna be in his brain forever even though they took the book away <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Gregory, what do you do after that meeting? There was meet. Now I need to actually see the Torridor trying to... What was her name? 
I need to start writing down names. I really, really do. I wrote down some, but I didn't write down enough of them. Uh, Alexandra. The new, the new, yeah, Alexandra, the new Torridor. No, uh, not the new Torridor. She's the regent. The new Torridor. Which new Torridor? You mean Elfrida? Or Sybil? The, um, there's a lot of Sybil relative... is in the movie one. Ah, that's Sybil. Yes. Okay. The movie one, as well as trying to see if Benjamin is there to try and convince him into okay. magic. That's probably going to go badly. Well, you arrive there, and there's like two drunk half drain models there who just tell you that, dude, you're late, the party left already. Where did they go? Give me a straight intelligence roll. They're too drunk to remember. That's not going to. This is not going to help, is it? Now, what's the easiest way to just give me a straight intelligence roll? Yep. Hmm. It it's on the tip of your tongue. There was something tonight. Can't remember. Was that... oh, I wasn't told about this. Fuck. <laughs> the Elysium is what? empty. Why is this Elysium? Why did they do it in the old Elysium? Ah, oh, fuck it. Go to the other Elysium. Okay, you go to the other Elysium. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> tower? You arrive at the tower and you see... As you pull up, you see that several vampires coming down the stairs and leaving already. Apparently you're late. <laughs> I'm going to stab someone. <laughs> <laughs> well done for yes. not telling him, guys. Well done. Oh no, you got informed. That's what you got your intelligence roll for. No. Didn't get told in the car by you guys. Yeah. Didn't get told. Yep. I'm pretty it sure. It was mentioned in your presence. That's why you did get the intelligence roll. You just okay. couldn't. I didn't you... think it had. Yep. It actually got... You were there in the Elysium when the, the Herald was telling about it one time. You sure? I've only been to Elysium when there's like three people, then there was the... Well, the bit let, that it, bit it's of... in character. Perception alertness, one die. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. It definitely happened. I do remember it quite well, because... Fine. I thought I wasn't there at whatever point. You... You run into one of the Torridor coming out of the bathrooms. It there's just a few streaks of Well, I mean her face is really wet and there's just Where's the two of her? That's a mistake, but yeah. You wouldn't notice you have crap perception. So yeah, her face is just wet and she doesn't seem very happy. Okay, just slip in back somewhere and try to pretend always there with shitty stealth. Okay. Just give me a roll for that. Uh, this what can be, be manipulation stealth because you are trying to pretend to have, be part of a crowd. Okay. But this will be at a 7, because you don't have a stealth dot. Okay. Smooth. Okay. The Nosferatu will be here by now. Most of them anyway. Their primogen would still be circling. Though, the only issue is if this would be... Uh, yeah. Heightened senses, but if it's heightened senses and a Torridor, they just. <laughs> they just. That's the other problem for them. This is like, you were weren't here before, but your face is so beautiful now. Okay. Launch the attack. They have to so get it it's, alone. Um, essentially, clearly, right after the meeting, and a few people are. or most of the people are lingering for a little bit to chat. But it's clear that it's that part of the party where everyone starts drifting off. There's a few small piles of ashes in the center of the room. Huh. Fair enough. And he's still holding the sword. 
Hey, you got Shut the sword up. back. Does he? Is he just staring at the sword? Nope. Is the sword magic? Is the sword magic in the ways that I can detect magic with the Metheria too? Uh, no, it's not living magic. It is Highlander. This is his ascension to Prince via killing everyone in the room. Obviously. It, and he's secretly a Methuselah masquerading as Percy's child. And he buffs everything to 10. Rolls initiative. End result of the gargoyle? Oh. Yeah, the gargoyle seems to be talking to the Tremere. <laughs> Which gargoyle is this? Have you seen the other one? No. You haven't seen either of them. No, so I just I've seen neither. Oh wait, 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 wait! Just... You did see. You did. I... Mm, wait, didn't you see it with the Lord or something? Who witnessed that? No, that, that was, was bacon. that was Bacon. Yeah, that was Bacon. Yeah. Also, perception one. Okay. I'd... I need to. Put that you up with perception one, you can try and roll to see if you hear anything interesting. At difficulty six, but generally speaking, you're not gonna get that much for obvious yeah, reasons. I'm... I'm going to wait to an opportune moment to talk to the Torridor and hope they don't just go fucking mental again. Okay. You walk up to the Torridor. Benjamin! You, Someone... if, I notice, if, if I notice him freehand, I'm just, like, just for a split second, I'm deactivating heightened senses. I, uh, I'm you are like... not expecting him, so roll with self-control at 8. That's... <laughs> the moment you notice him, it's how he moves. It's like, oh, he's here. Uh, with self-control at 8? Yeah. <laughs> Please do not bot. Now roll self-control at 6, because he's just so magnificent. So just self-control now? Yeah, yeah that's for... The... Come on, you can roll this. You cannot botch. Thank you. I need to actually talk to you, not just have you doing trigonometry or whatever. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going mental now. Good. Hopefully none of the other Torridor are going mental. Good. That one's not. I mean, that's the one that matters. The rest of them are... I'm going to roll if they want to participate in conversation, but they're quite happy to watch what the happenings at the moment. Gregory. I am um, in... Ah, oh, Benjamin and Sybil and... And I go on and... The ones who are actually turning to talk to me, which I assume is Benjamin, possi I'm going to possibly introduce self to Sybil because I want to talk to her. But any others who will turn to the conversational, and I know the names of. Mm -hmm. Gun crazy dude. Mm. He's not gonna. He, is he armed this time? This is an important question. Uh, he has a sidearm with him. He doesn't okay. have his rifle. That's that's good. That's good. Uh, um. Benjamin, a um, moment of your time, if you. I just, just sort of glanced towards Ender and like, yes, um, very well. Uh, and I presume we're just going to go into a little bit more private, right? It's, very, it's only very slight. I don't mind if the other Torridors are. Yeah, thing. Andrew is going to follow along. The rest of them are going to stay with their little clump, essentially. Yes, Andrew, I pref this probably should be past the, you as well. Um, but mostly Benjamin, because we have a certain share of tastes and everything, because you've now got the seemingly a more proper Elysium being set up compared to the burning pile of woodland. But it, I did notice that it was... Um, at very least, you don't seem to own all of the tower, and it, there isn't actually any, well, magical preventatives of kind just wandering up there or... 
Mm, yeah, so other you... such intrusions, which doesn't allow certain a certain level of freedom you could might want in Elysium. We've considered that, especially now that the Elysium has been deemed official, and that we are expanding it. We have been taken that into consideration. Yes, of course. I just I have a certain repertoire with the Tremere back in the old country, and apparently that has. At least word of that has spread to the new Tremere over here, replacing the... I look around to see if I can see a Topod William or anything. Nope. But there are several piles of ash on the floor. Yeah, rather than the one who came before in this city who has been removed. And... They would be very much interested in repairing the damage done by the wayward son by possibly helping you with defending the Elysium to allow it to be a freer place for our kind to do whatever we wish and whatever without fear of kind walking in or intrusions of the other Andrew nature. Is, um, trying not to laugh. Yes. The Tremere aren't all like Mr. Standard Procedure. <laughs> I had never. I when I came to the city, I was completely appalled by what I heard about them here compared to how they were in the old country. It might just be a thing of kind of who they are over here, but back in the old country, they are very civilized and very forward-thinking. Benjamin, you'd you'd get on delightfully with some of them. I, I look very good taste in art. Especially. Oh, oh, I know. I've been in Vienna for a while, where I met oh, Tremere, which we made a musical school together. It was truly brilliant. There are Tremere out there who truly have a greater understanding of art besides the gestia cult. So, if there are those here as well, that would be fantastic. Yes, I do. I recommend you speak to the um, Tremere region. She'd be more than happy to know you'd want to work together on making the Elysium a truly great place for the city rather than the... Uh, since I've already seen Mr. Standard Procedure, um, have they appointed a new regent already? At least temporarily. There was, I mean, having a visiting dignitary from Vienna to actually sort out all of this mess expedites the process of getting back in order tremendously. You mean the emissary who never got to deliver her report and got cut down halfway through her mission? Is he actually saying that? I don't think Andrew would know that he... Actually, Andrew probably would be one of the people that would realize that she hadn't reported in yet, so sure, yes. Did she, does reporting back need to be done for the initial setting up of who's now in charge and everything? <laughs> and of course, that's just confirming the action taken and everything. And I'm sure, I'm sure she'll recover to full health in. Um, well, I talked with her from what I understood. There's a certain bureaucracy involved, and uh, she was making a written report with uh, recommendations that was going to be handled through bureaucracy. She wasn't so much directly in charge if all went well she had i think she had the authority to step in but generally she was here as an investigator who would then present her recommendations to the norm of course but there is at least one to know who at the moment is acting regent and seems to be trying to put everything back in progress even if that's not going to be the regent with coming after the report i'm sure they will take what has been done, the... And even if she isn't, if you get everything done before she leaves, then... You have a well prepared to at least him anyway. Oh, is it someone new? Entirely possible, I think so, but I am not well acquainted with the city. Well, she at very least knew 
and disliked how William had been running things before, but I don't think that indicates much aside from that she has a brain. <laughs> I, I... Why is there someone on the ceiling? Do you look up? This is my perception one, just realising there's a person on the ceiling. <laughs> do, do you look up? Apparently, yes, I have looked up. Why are there people on the ceiling? You see something on the ceiling. Oh no. Why is there a crocodile on the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> I am actually going to ask them, why is there a crocodile on the you, ceiling? Um, Unless there isn't you a crocodile on the ceiling. You're focusing on it and... Benjamin, have you picked what your personal bane is? Uh, you mean my personal weakness in terms of the yeah. corridor? Yeah. Well, it was supposed to be music. Okay, then write it in the weakness thing, but give me a uh, self-control roll at a five. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck, you, it's not going to make it into the modern day. <laughs> you look up, and it's shadowed, so you have to be standing in just the right spot to notice it, but there's this weirdly realistic, artistic, noble, even, depiction of a gator on the ceiling. Goddamn, that's actually a thing now, isn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I, I, is is that an alligator up there? I do believe I, it is. Exquisite workmanship. Wrong area for crocodiles, at very least. What? Exquisite, I must be honest, but at the same time, confusing, but nonetheless, quite exquisite. Disney Orleans. I believe we should try and uh, track down the author. He could be a great addition. Wow. Indeed, he may be. The Torridor are totally distracted now. Now, if you uh, would excuse me and hopefully at some point talk to the... Oh, yes, certainly. Um, we'll talk to you later. Not taking eyes I... off ceiling. <laughs> yes, yes, Gregory, we'll, we'll, we'll speak later. Uh, thank you once again for uh, your kind and appreciative uh, demeanor towards us. Of course. I will bow and I will excuse myself to talk to Sybil. Epic about and leave I them expect stare that, at the uh, ceiling gator. Why is there a ceiling gator? Vivian, why has your tower got a ceiling gator? I'm a Malkavian! You're a Malkavian, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Epic, I I think about you and about half of the Malks have been carefully listening to this conversation from our, where you're standing. Yep, it it was a... Uh... An interesting amount of bullshittery listening in. <laughs> How did the crocodile tracks get on the ceiling? You look up, oh hey, I never noticed that mural there. Was that there the whole time? <laughs> I just hope none of the Malkavians actually have the um, painting combination discipline because that... Does that still exist? Yes, maybe. Uh, it, With storyteller yeah. approval. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, if one of them does, this is going to go downhill very quickly as soon as they start paging shit. <laughs> Never know. Okay. Okay, um... Oh, that's going to be the yeah, fault of the last trance and everything. Oh my god, why is there a crocodile on the... Epic, give me a perception alertness for all these aspects running. I assume Generally, that... yes. Okay. Um, well, give me like a wit self control at a, let's say, five, because you've seen more weirder shit than most. Yeah. For dealing with Gregory's presence. And um, after that, you probably succeed that. Uh, so after Typically that. Typically five? Yeah. After that, give me a perception alertness at a four.
yeah, it's somewhere out towards the meeting rooms that aren't used at this time of the night. Um, you hear the panicked noises of what sounds like a vampire in Rotrek. Um, oh no. Someone in Rotrek over here. I have a bad feeling about this. Start going to try and find out what's going on. Dougal falls in behind you. Ah, oh, that makes it worse, not better. <laughs> hey, you're able to track the noises to check. Lord, where did we say your character ended up? Like a broom closet, meeting room, office, something like that. What did you do? You the staff. You are able to track it to an office. There's a few scratch marks on the door where someone's been trying to get in before figuring out how to use the handle in their panic. And there's definitely someone on the other side, sobbing faintly. What the f- what the well, fuck have you done? Well, it's not a frenzy. Uh, you know what, we'll, we'll let them deal with it themselves. There's no reason to bring shame to them. Whoever they might be. Just wanted to make sure nothing real crazy was going on. There's no fire or anything. All right. Then why Actually, the other side of the door? there is the faint smell of burnt fabric and flesh. Just the faintest whiff of it. Someone burned somebody. <laughs> Check funny. up where the sheriff is. Hey. Uh, Sheriff is currently telling Sikar that, no, no, that, that was good enough, it's, don't worry about it, uh, you, you did good questioning him. Wiping off his knife. Uh, I'll go towards the room, I presume I know where the room is in my own place. You so. can figure it out in, like, two tries at most, so yeah, sure. Okay, just, uh, go and knock on the door. An ally seems to have gone while I wasn't looking. Boo. Really? Apparently. Oh, it's alright. I'm just going to be asking the sheriff real quick. Uh, I smelled something burning. Was that, was that involved in here at all? Uh, yeah, the um, Anarch fuck up uh, lied to me. <laughs> ah, okay. That's who's cowering over in one of the closets. <laughs> <laughs> I well, like him so uh, much. Just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Didn't Nothing's like, actually... You know, massive fight breaking out in here or anything. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to be sending Sikhar to deal with our hunter problem. They're trying to attack another elder. Who are they trying to attack this time? Uh, one of the Nosferatu. Michelle poked her head in here like five minutes ago. Well, good luck. I'm just gonna send a message, hopefully they back off, I'm not gonna start the war unless they escalate. I'm... Yep, uh, makes sense. Hopefully they don't try and escalate it. Well, I got some people to meet, talk to. Uh, have a good night. Although, uh, you might be interested in something later. But I'll, I'll tell you about that later. Uh, I'm gonna be making the rounds in... Well, among your clan, actually, tonight. There's yep. an issue to settle, as you know. Yep. Okay, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be well, back. Maybe later. But just make sure not to cause anything to, like, burn down or anything. Okay. Right, right, right. Um, oh, fuck. So you go back to chat with your Malkavians. Well, to be accurate, I'm trying to get Valda to, you know, get more of a private talk uh, at some point. You, you can pull her aside as everyone is drifting either throughout the building or talking among themselves in smaller groups. Some people are heading off. It's... Yep. I'm trying to make this pretty private, so... Yeah, you can just 
take her up a couple floors to a private uh, meeting room that's like secure, you know, for confidential talks. So. Yep. Okay. Good. Uh, uh, Valda. Yes. We, as I'm sure some people might have even detected, there is a bit of an issue that needs to be discussed. Okay. Uh, Kurt is not appreciating in any way uh, people just taking punishments into their own hands. And while I disagree with trying to punish people for fairly minor acts, he did make a very, very good case that we should not be doing such things without seeking some form of permission first. Seriously? Kurt has his head so far up his ass he doesn't even remember sunlight. <laughs> uh, but that, he did make a very good point in trying to make sure that people in general don't try and do this kind of thing. Taking punishments into their own hand. Uh... He is going to try and see about punishing Malkavi uh Clan Malkavian one one by one. I did manage to convince him to not do anything serious for it, I hope. But it does have a point, and you do need to try and make sure that if you do such an action you either try and seek permission or are ready to face some consequences for it. I'm gonna need a charisma leadership role from you, Adam. Spe Elder power, activate! Okay. Uh, that would have to be roll a difficulty six. Because it's manipulation okay. subterfuge, right? It is correct, manipulation subterfuge. Let me my blood pool for this. Okay. Uh, charisma leadership? Uh, yes. Okay. Damn, that was horrible, but it was still a three at least. Glad I'm getting rid of all the ones. Someone's gonna get good rolls later. <laughs> That's not how it works! I know, but you like hoping, right? <laughs> no! I prefer accuracy! I'm gonna ne also need a perception empathy roll on your part. Is Auspex running? It is. Uh, this is a very subtle thing, so that will take it down to a six. This one I know very well. Uh, yeah. Um, you've known Walda for a while, and you have an idea what makes her flip, and something which you said, her body language just shifted ever so slightly. You think bad Walda might be behind the wheel at the moment. So, Walda, I need to make sure. Oh, I'll Do you under I'll I'll play along. Don't worry. But if that fucker actually hurts someone, so help me this time. He's the one going to torpor. Oh God! Did I hurt someone? No. <laughs> no, she's threatening the sheriff. She's threatening oh, Kurt. No. This does not end well. Yes, honey, just 
make sure you're very careful and just take my words at heart, please. If you do take actions, either just make sure that you are willing to accept the consequences or try and seek permission beforehand. That's that's the real big thing. Okay. May I please show a hot poker up Kurt's ass? <laughs> Innocent eyes, just you, puppy you look straight at you. <laughs> at the moment, no. Something to consider, though. <laughs> hey, fine. Play along with that asshole. Through clenched teeth. She's not a happy I'm camper so, I'm right so now. I know she's not a very happy camper. I understand why she's not a very happy camper. It was just a prank, bro. <laughs> to be fair, in a way they helped him. They totally just were helping him. It had nothing to do with punishment, right? Yeah, no, Kurt knows whose strings that clan dances to. So, if All you right. didn't order it, it's and they acted as a group, it's clear who done it. That's not inaccurate. <laughs> okay. Well, make sure you have a good night. Uh... Though Kurt is probably going to try and ruin it for at least a couple of you. That he's going to go on his uh, patrols right after this, so... Just try and make sure everyone's ready if you can, okay? Right. <sighs> no. Thank you, Valda. Okay. Uh, um, if I could, while uh, Valda's still here in this Elysium, after, you know, talking with uh, Andrew and whatnot, I want to just sort of approach Valda for a second just to ask her. I've been relegated to whatnot? Yeah, 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 that, that sounds well, fairly accurate. Jesus. <laughs> you angry all so much for trying to help your clan. Ah, Volda, it's a pleasure to see you. Um, I would just like to uh, ask you of something, if possible. Fine. And apparently it's one of... What do you want? Oh, uh, I'm sorry if I'm disturbing you in anything. Uh, but I have already sent in a letter for the cane that I that you asked for. However, in my foolishness, I forgot to take proper measurements. Uh, so if you would possibly find some free time uh, just to possibly come to Elysium so I can properly measure uh, the distance with and such of the cane, uh, well, it would be much appreciated. Volda is going to spend a willpower point to actually be nice to you and suppress her derangement for the rest of the scene because she doesn't want to piss off an elder. <laughs> Okay, fine, I just have something to handle tonight, tomorrow, maybe, Whenever, maybe Wednesday, I'll, I'll, I'll come by. Thank you, Valda, it was a pleasure to see you again. Uh, sure. Looks at the Malkarians, the clump is like two people, where the fuck did they go? I think I, I think seeing that she's a little bit pissy, I think I'm just going to retract myself a bit slowly. Epic, you feel just a wave emanate through the network. Um In the woods by the stream now <laughs> ah, collaboration. I'm just gonna take down another willpower and not make her roll. I'm just gonna assume that she would get one or two success and that would be enough to establish a meet. 
Kurt turns up at the meet. Kurt uses Molotov. See, all the punishment done in one. I think Kurt would die there. He couldn't take all of them ring at him at once. So I think... Just to make sure that we have this out of the way, I'm gonna make a charisma leadership role for Waldo to convince them to go along with this. <laughs> I was actually gonna see about joining myself, by the way. Okay. Uh, well, some of them would be walking there. So, you would be able to get there by then. It does mean that you would have to leave pretty soon. <laughs> yep. That's fine. This is the most important thing, uh, really. So. Your power base getting Molotov would be a problem, yes. I mean... Exactly! Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to take a quick break and split the video. And we'll continue with Jackalore uh, snapping out of Rotrek once we come back.